Peak pulling is defined as when 70% of the cherry trees around the tidal basin are in full bloom. It's nearly Im impossible to really nail the prediction you know, a month or six weeks in advance because you just don't know what the weather is going to be. My name is Michael Stakowitz. I'm the horticulturist for the National Mall and Memorial Parks. I take care of all the turf operations in the park, uh, but this time of year, I'm very involved in the cherry trees. Every year on March 1st is where we actually start, we actually do our cherry blossom prediction. We start counting when we have warm days, whenever the temperatures start going above that baseline, and we start accumulating that. But it's really these temperatures in February and March that really drive the calculations. That's how these, these blossoms work. You're just waiting to get to 220 heating degrees. The cold doesn't do any, uh, any damage until you get later on and you get to a more delicate stage. Um, like right now, the more pink you see, the more delicate they are. It really ends up being temperature much more than uh, snow has any effect. What I'm trying to do when I go out daily, uh, out under the Tuttle Basin, I'm trying to figure out you know, where 70% of buds are. Uh, you start to have just fluorites just barely, you know, just barely visible. And so that's, that's a stage. You have the green bud stage. You have fluorites visible. You have fluorites extended, and then pedicle elongation, puffy white, and then finally peak bloom. The average peak bloom is on April 3rd. It had been on April 4th for a bunch of years uh, until, until recently. These cherry blossoms are special. They're old. They have been maintained uh, for 100 years or 100 plus years at this point. It does signify the arrival of spring, like the arrival of real spring. That rite of passage is, is something that resonates uh, very strongly in DC and in this area. You know, we know that spring is here.